What's up guys, Mario here, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a how to slash a recommended setup for a single cab Chevy on a budget. So let me show you what we got. All right, so if you're on a budget and you don't wanna break the bank, this is gonna be the recommended setup that I came up with for these single cab Chevys, 99 through 06-ish, but let's go through it. All right, so starting off in the corner over here, we have our subwoofer, which we decided to go with the Scar Audio Shallow Mount Series, which is a VD-12D4 at 4 ohms. Here are the specs for it. We decided to go with the Shallow Mount to save that extra airspace so we can save our leg room. And uh, this should be powerful enough to give us that thump that we want. And for the sub, you also need a box. So we decided to go with this prefab box uh, that I found on Amazon to fit the specs of the sub as well as fit in the back of the truck to not lose any leg room. And it should fit perfectly. So I will put a link to it in the description so you can check that out as well. Now to power up our sub, we need our amplifier. So I decided to go with the SCAR audio as well, RP1200.1D, which is a one channel um, amp, which is gonna be the recommended amp to match this one on the specs. So that's what we went with. Now to wire up the, the amp, you're gonna need a wiring kit. And this is the part I recommend people don't cheap out on, which is going to be the wires, which is going to be, you know, the main source of the power. And we decided to go with the SCAR Audio OFC kit, which is a four gauge. Um, do not cheap out on your wiring kit at all costs because you do not want to burn your truck if you have a cheap kit. So that's why we went with that one. So we're also going to be chained out the door speakers as well. Uh, we decided to go with some SCAR Audio FSX 65 six and a half inch speakers, which that's what fits in there perfectly. Uh, these are budget friendly. I think they're like 18 to 20 dollars a piece and they offer them in four and eight ohm. Now, just a reminder, I am giving a pair away on my channel. All you have to do is go comment on the post I made about two videos ago. You'll see it. It says SCAR giveaway or subscriber giveaway. All you have to do is go like it and comment on the post and you will be entered. Uh, I am giving them away at 2,000, 2000 subscribers. Um, so yeah, go like, go comment on that video for a chance to win those. And also, he also wanted to change out the radio, but he didn't want to spend a lot. So I had the second hand radio that I've had for a while. And we're going to be slapping it in there. So that's it. Um... Oh yeah, I've also got a pair of 4x6s that are on order, which they should be here tomorrow, which you will see in the video as well, but they're not going to be in this picture right here. So we're going to be putting those in the back uh, pillars behind the seats, so he will have a full-blown uh, budget sound system. So let's talk about the price of this total setup is going to cost you around, I'd say around Four or five hundred depends on um, what you want to go with, what route as far as uh, wires or radio. You might spend a little bit more, but that's what the average uh, sound system costs nowadays. Uh, not including like an installer fee or whatnot, but I do recommend everybody attempt to do their own stuff. So that's what I'm here for. But yeah. Let's get to installing the sound system. So the first thing we're gonna do to this install is we're gonna disconnect the battery. So disconnect your battery, whether uh, somebody rigged it up or if the factory one, it should be a 5 16 But in my case, uh, it's been rigged. So get the proper socket and disconnect your battery. Once you've got the battery disconnected, now it's time to run the power wire from the battery to the location of where you want your amp. So we're gonna open up our uh, amplifier wiring kit and we're going to separate the wires which is the longest one it's going to be the power wire 
It also comes with RCA's speaker wire, remote wire, and this loomed wire is going to be at the ground. So yeah, we got to take our power wire, undo it, and as well as our fuse block. And we're going to find a location for it. So the base place I found to mount this fuse block is right here on this uh, plastic on this fuse box. So it takes some super short three quarter inch screws and screw them right here. And that should be a good place to mount the block. All right, so we got the fuse block mounted and I went ahead and ran the power wire through each, to each side, which runs across here to the battery. I still don't got the negative connected. And I went ahead and ran it through the firewall, which you can either drill a hole or pop one of the small grommets that are in some vehicles. You will have to look for yours if you do the pop into the grommet, so, but be careful. Now we're going to go around and work inside the vehicle. So, as you can see, the power wire is right here, chilling. Now, I don't recommend running it straight to where you want it. What I would do from right here is while you have access to everything which for me the radio wasn't in there um if you do have a radio remove that but while i have access to this empty get panel right here i'm going to go ahead and run the rcas the remote wire as well as the base knob wire to you know follow along with this power wire through the um through this channel right here so i've got all my extra wires ran such as the rcas I'm also running a backup camera, so I ran that as well with the remote turn on. And I got them ran down through this little channel wrapped in Tessa tape. So from there, I'm just gonna zip tie them up here, nice and neat. And from there, we're gonna meet the power wire at the intersection right here where the hood latch is. From there, we're gonna take off all the trim and run them together along this channel here. So I've got all my leads running across the channel. You can see them right here. Here's the power wire. And this darker black one is all the other wires. And I'm gonna go ahead and take off this side panel right here. I got it mostly taken off. Cause while we're here, I'm gonna go ahead and tuck the wires underneath that trim right there. And while I'm there, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the, the speakers right here. Now we're gonna mount and wire our amplifier in. The best place I found to mount it was right here on this hump. It sits pretty good on there, like so. The only downside is this little corner piece dangles a little bit, but it still looks good right there. I went ahead and put the speaker box in there to test if it would slide over enough, but I don't want to slide it over too much. But yeah, right there, around that right there. So let's wire it in. My phone ended up dying on me, so I kept working, but in that period, I, I went ahead and wired in the sub and mounted it. I wired it to two ohms. I ran the wires from the amplifier to the back of the speaker box right here on the side. I went ahead and took off this pillar, uh, whatever you call it, cover. And I'm gonna go ahead and replace these. But before I do that, I am gonna go ahead and wire up the radio so we can get a sample of what it sounds like. So here we have the radio, the Boss Audio Radio, the flip up one. I went ahead and disconnected the harness from it so I can solder this connector to the factory harness adapter. So right now we're about to solder these in. All right, I've got the radio wired up and the harness cleaned up as much as I could. This is the older radio, so it has the bulky connectors right here. And I'm gonna add Tessa tape to a couple more wires that are exposed like this one. This one still needs to be connected to the backup camera as well as the remote turn on and the ones that are not being used. So now we're gonna be replacing the door speakers right here. Uh, we're gonna be putting in the SCAR six and a halves. So let me go ahead and take out this door panel. I got a little bit too ahead of myself, so I already went ahead and installed it. As you can see, there's the speaker right there. So yeah, that one's installed, and I'm about to do the other side. So we got the truck put all back together. We got the speakers in, everything in. A little custom bass knob, as well as the radio. Everything's in running order. So now let's do a sound test.
That's it for this video. Like I said, I'll put everything in the description and we'll see you on the next one.